Today, what I'm going to go ahead and discuss with you is basically the 10 days IIT jam strategy. We all know the exam is coming and uh, since there are just 10 days left for you to revise your syllabus, there are some things that you must keep in mind. The first one is that all of you are supposed to go through the past year papers. When I say past year papers, I know that there are only two past year papers, 2022, 2021. But 160 question, uh, 120 questions of IIT and along with that, the two past year papers of GATE, approximately 200 questions to 250 questions is a good practice for you to uh, see the kind of questions that come in exam. No one is going to skip a single question. Aisa nahi ki, achha, ye wala nahi ra, but konsa repeat hoga, we will not, we, we can skip one question. Nobody is going to follow that strategy. Each and every question needs to be done. That's the first thing. The second thing is that, you know, when you are going ahead and uh, revising any topic, usually what I love to do is make revision charts. Now, what is a revision chart? For example, if I am talking about utility, then I will make a revision chart saying what are the different types of IC in which I will cover all kind of ICs like for example, <clears throat> a min function, a max function, a concave function, a convex function, cop doctors, quasi-linear, all kind of ICs. Then I will understand what is Marshallian for these, what is Hicksian for these, how to write indirect utility function, what are their properties, homogeneity, homothetic preferences, angel equation, Everything, who not aggregation, everything related to it. I will make a chart in two, three pages and I will just understand that I've got through each and everything related to it. Similarly, if I'm doing statistics, I will make a topic. Just say, for example, if I am to do normal distribution, then I will say, okay, what is the what is the probability density function of a normal distribution? And then I will go ahead and I will write down the properties of those and then I will write the properties of normal and then I will say it is symmetric and then it is symmetric around mean, median, mode being equal. And then how do you find a missing value of the normal distribution if the area under the curve has to be one and they give you some C, how do you find that? Everything related to that. So you have to make charts. Then no one is going to skip a single question of mock test. You know we have done 10 mock tests. 60 questions in each mock test, 600 questions. Each of you will do each of those 600 questions. Then you're supposed to do all questions from the question bank. This is how you will be covering your uh, revision. What you should not be doing currently. Don't waste time on ISI questions as I have always been telling you. This is a bad idea to do so difficult questions which are never uh, ever asked in the last two papers. We should not be focusing on those right now. Then don't waste time on topics which are never coming in syllabus. Just say for example, sometimes students ask me doubts related to Lewis model for IIT. That doesn't come in IIT. Why do you want to do that? Right? So you have to do only the topics that come in exam. Then keep Indian eco at the last because I always tell students it is uncertain. I will be conducting the Indian economics marathon soon. But still, I want you to keep Indian Eco only when you have covered all four subjects thoroughly. Do not compare your strategy with others. Many students think, Achha, he is doing micro, she is doing macro, what should I be doing? I also start with micro. No. If you have already done micro and you are confident in micro, focus on the next subject. Don't compare your strategy with the other students. So these are a few of the points uh, I wanted to share with you and keep your calm don't don't uh, start panicking many students panic towards the end it's okay many of you i can understand would not have covered 100 percent of the syllabus but whatever you have done you should be thorough with it 
and you should be utilizing the coming 10 days uh, with utmost delegance. Ek ek ghanta, ek ek minute is important. I usually don't ask my students to do last minute studies. 11th is not the day you should be studying. Okay, it should be the day you should be keeping yourself peace, calm. It is only till 10th that we have time that you should be utilizing it and you should be giving your 100%. Okay, best of luck for your exam.